I can't mention I can't remember if I mentioned it in my last video but I actually ordered a uh, a game on um, from eBay or I, I purchased a game on eBay for the Sega Saturn a shmup or well we call it in the old school shoot 'em ups um, so I'm very excited about that I'm just really into shooters right now so uh, let's go through eBay right now basically I just put uh, shmup in the uh, search bar right here and then put auction in sorted at time ending soonest uh, this is a very interesting game soul dees I've seen this a couple of times now only problem with this is it's missing the directions they're asking 45 for it they gotta buy it now 55 for it but without the directions it's probably worth about 55 now if it was complete that game's worth like 80 bucks that's a fairly rare uh, shooter right there so I'll be keeping an eye out for that complete in the future. Another good one is Sagaya by Taito. Uh, that one, uh, I got that on my watch list. But the only problem with this one is, I'll show you guys real quick here. Look at the friggin' game. Look how bad it looks. It's got stickers all over it. So I don't think that's something I'd... I'd purchase to be honest with you. All right, let's check out a few more games here. Uh, those are uh, that's a Japan game, uh, Thunder Force Two. I got that on my watch list. This is complete, actually. It looks like it's in very good condition. So five fifty, obviously, that's a no brainer. But there's already three bids on it. It's got four days to go, so there'll be a lot of bidding on that. All right, that's Japan, Japan, and then what do we have here? Wings of War. I think this is a form of a shooter also. 40 bucks, though. Wow. Let's check this out. Wings of War. This looks interesting. Look at that cover art. Does that thing have glasses on? It's kind of weird. All right, so Wings of War, 40 bucks. I doubt it's worth any more than that. Let's see what he says in the description. I love when they just put one picture on there. It's ridiculous. Okay, item condition, good. Game is in good condition. Will only shit within the U.S. Wow, this game will only shit within the U.S.? That's friggin' nuts. This game only shits in the U.S. That's fucking crazy, man. All right, so just a quick channel update here. I'm at the post office. I know back when I picked up um, my second copy of Dot Hat Quarantine, a sealed copy, uh, there was a question of what, I knew I was gonna sell one of them and keep one of them, but which one was I gonna sell, the sealed copy or uh, my in very nice condition copy of, uh, un, you know, opened copy of Dot Hat Quarantine. I've decided to keep the sealed one. Uh, I already sold this. Uh, I sold it for $130, which is about average. In this type of condition, I probably could have sold it for more, but I just wanted to go ahead and sell it and get it over with. And it lasted on uh, eBay probably about a couple hours. Uh, it's in very nice shape. The discs look like they've never been played. One thing about
I guess these Dreamcast games right here. I don't know if you can see from the back side. It's uh, one, two, those two. Actually, there's just all these CDs right here. Okay. That usually works. There you go. Make sure it's in there. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know this. Okay, so it's Saturday. This is the second Goodwill that I hit today. I uh, did not find anything at the first one. Uh, by the way, happy 4th, everyone. Tonight, hopefully I'm going to upload this video uh, with the pics today and the stuff that I found uh, earlier on this week should be enough for a video. Uh, and the box did arrive. The eBay uh, game did arrive last night. I did not open it, so I'll be opening that in the video. So inside of this Goodwill, I found a... They had a few Dreamcast games in there two controllers too so they must have sold like a dreamcast um south park chef's love shack and uh the disc has a few scratches on it but it's not terrible it's not in bad shape at all uh, i do not have that so of course i'm going to add that to my collection non-sports dreamcast games all the way and then two needs to be cleaned up a little bit but two nice dreamcast controllers oh yeah so uh south park game was $2.99 and each one of these Dreamcast controllers is $3.99. So that's not bad at all. So no VMUs, but I um, can't remember. I think I have two Dreamcast controllers and two VMUs at home. All right, so uh, let's go to the next one. All right, so I usually don't like to talk about work on my channel because the channel is supposed to be fun. My work is not fun. But today, I was basically working on a project where fiberglass was raining down on my the top of my head, my nostrils, my ears, my friggin' uh, neck, the back of my neck. Fiberglass is basically in every pore on my skin. I had no change of clothes. So I got fiberglass all in my clothes. <laughs> See? I got fiberglass in my nose. So, fiberglass makes you itch like shit and inflames your skin. It's just a, it's a nasty thing. It's a nasty thing to deal with. So, um, so I get in the car to leave. I'm driving and, and, and I lick some stuff out of the back of my teeth, you know, you know how you have food stuck in your stuck in your, between your teeth from if you don't uh, use a toothpick afterwards or floss after you eat for lunch. 
and I'm like, oh, I wonder what this is. This the uh, what did I have for lunch today? Chicken. Uh, well, it tastes like chicken. What else did I have? Rice. No, this doesn't taste like rice. What about um, salad? Yeah, it might be salad. So I reach in my mouth and I grab this wad of mystery food out of my mouth. And it's a big old chunk of fiberglass that I've been chewing on. Yeah. Now my, my, my fucking tongue feels like someone's been playing tic-tac-toe with a razor blade on it. And I'm not done. Then I get close to my to my house, my area, and I start hitting Goodwill after Goodwill, going between Goodwills, doing some game hunting, and I get fucking pulled over by the police, I get a ticket, I'm basically behind one car, and it's going too slow, so I get aggravated, I, I basically pull position by it, and as soon as I pull position by it and hit the gas, they must have had the gun on me, a female cop is in some driveway in front of the area, about. 30 yards from where I'm at. She hits me with a gun. I get a ticket for doing 60 miles an hour in a 45. And then she gets me for a legal lane change or whatever the fuck it is. Fucking uh, not signaling on a lane change. So every week now, I have to pick up games to sell to pay for the games that I want to keep in my collection, which I'm good with. And then... I sell games to pay for the gas money expense of going to hunt for these games and then to put some money in my pocket. Well, now this week I got to pay for a fucking speeding ticket and a lane violation for not signaling. This fucking pisses me off. I need some meds quick. Fucking cop. Why isn't this cop solving an unsolved mystery or chasing down a serial killer giving me fucking tickets for bullshit? I'm pissed! All right, what's up, everybody? So there's the box that, or the game that I ordered. Uh, there, by the way, is the video game dog, Taylor. Taylor. Taylor's like, F you. Where's Scrappy do it? All right, so uh, let's open this baby up. Let me free up my hands and put the, uh, put the camera down here. Now, I actually was trying to auction for this game, and I tried on two different occasions. And I must be the worst auction person ever because I never win any auctions. Every time I try to win an auction, I get beat out. So uh, I basically said, screw it. I mean, I would be spending more money on an auction than I would on Buy It Now, apparently. Because the auctions get crazy. Like in the last second, someone just throws this crazy number up there so he doesn't get beat by everybody else. And that's how the prices get so high. So I actually got this, not a steal, I got it, you know, pr about average pricing once you consider the shipping. But it's something that I didn't think I was going to be able to find out there in the wild anytime soon. Really cool game, so uh, let's open it up. See what we got. Okay. 
Looks like it's wrapped pretty good. It's got some paper here. And then it's got some big bubble wrap. Okay, that's that. Let me get that out of the way so no address is seen. And let's open this baby up. Oh wow, this looks like it's a nice shape. Oh, very nice. Very nice shape. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Galactic Attack on the Sega Saturn. This is a shoot 'em up, guys. Very clean shape. I'm very impressed with the case. Wait, does he have this taped? Yeah, it's taped. Okay. I'll pick up the phone and show a closer view, a better angle, as soon as I open this baby up. Okay. Oh, it's even got the, uh, the uh, styrofoam piece or whatever the heck that is. So that's cool. It's, uh, it's definitely complete. All right, let me pick up the camera here. So, um, just doing a lot of research on, uh, first of all, I don't show my Sega Saturn any love whatsoever, and now I'm starting to play it. Uh, I really like it, and I wanted to get a good shooter for it. Uh, I think most of the games, like on the Dreamcast, shoot them ups most of the best ones are, are Japanese releases, but they do have some great titles that, are, that were released here in the U.S., there is a crack right here uh, that I didn't see at first, but it's all right. Um, but yeah, Galactic Attack. And let's see. This is more than an intergalactic warfare. This is the future of mankind. Some of the cool screenshots right there. It's made by Acclaim. And let's see what kind of condition the disc is in. So it always terrifies me about ordering stuff online. Oh, wow. Of course, the memory ran out of my phone. Sorry about that. Um, now, if you guys... In, this is just in fantastic shape. I cannot be any more happy with the disc condition. It's rather Mackenzie. If you guys do not know about Galactic Attack, uh, many people consider this one of the best shoot 'em ups ever released. So... Uh, this game, I just cannot wait to get in the Sega Saturn. I'm going to have to show you guys footage of this in some form or fashion. I don't know if I'm going to tie it in, in, into this video or if maybe it's going to come out the closet. I have no clue, but I'm definitely going to have to show you footage of this because I think if you guys have not played this, you're going to want to go out and get it if you have a Sega Saturn uh, for sure. So uh, that's that. And uh, hey, Taylor, you like Galactic Attack? Oh, Taylor and Galactic Attack, a match made in heaven. Hey, what's up, my people? So welcome to the recap. Welcome to the closet. Welcome to the games that I picked up this week. Uh, before I do get started, uh, I do want to say something about David, the uh, person that the friend of mine that I dedicated the video to last week about the cancer. Uh, I did talk to him. He was touched by the video, which was really cool. And he was real appreciative of all you guys comments and all you guys support. Uh, every once in a while I do try to throw some positive advice in my videos out to the younger people that watch my channel and I could not think of a better uh, example of uh, how you guys can make the right decisions after hearing what I have to say right here. David, I did not mention, but David has cancer on the back of his tongue and he was a heavy smoker for over 20 years of his life so um, you know, if you don't want cancer, don't smoke. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so David, uh, is going to beat this thing and, uh, and that's about it. He, he was really, really, uh, pumped up about the video and, 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 and I thank all you guys for being so cool about it and, uh, all the, all the great comments that you had. All right, let's get into the pickups. So, uh, South Park, Chef's Love Shack for $2.99. That's complete on the Dreamcast. 
I will be keeping this game in my collection. This is a keeper. The next game, Xbox 360 for $2.99. Also, Game of the Year Edition, Dead Island. Believe it or not, I've never played this game before. So I'm going to have to check with my boy Old Dog to see if he has this. And David uh, to see if he might want to pick this up so we can go online and play this game. Um, and a few others from YouTube also. Uh, next pickup. $3.99. I've never played the St. Rose series, believe it or not, either. St. Rose uh, St. Rose 2. St. Rose, am I saying? Saints Row 2 on the PlayStation 3 for $3.99. It's complete. It's in great shape. Uh, now, those three games right there, I'm picking, I'm keeping for my collection. Now we're gonna get into some of the stuff I'll be selling. Zumba Fitness 2. No, I'm not into Zumba. Uh, this game actually sells for, I think, about 18 bucks. so $2.99, it's complete. This is going online, I'll be flipping that. Uh, picked up my second copy of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on the Wii, so I'm going to be flipping this. This is in good condition, I just need to clean up the stickers on it. Uh, that's also going on eBay, and then I think I'm going to put this on eBay also. Punch Out on the Wii, I had no clue this game was worth so much. It's complete, it's in very nice shape, $2.99. I want to say it's worth like 25 bucks, but I can't remember now. But that's definitely getting flipped. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. I've seen this game a lot. You guys know I pick this game up a lot. $14.99 is not usually what I want to pay for a game. But the game's worth probably more than double that. So this is a flip. This is going on eBay. It's complete. There is a scratch. It looks like somebody ran a razor blade through the front. So I am going to have to change the case out. But uh, the disc is in light new condition, so that's awesome. And then a game that I knew some of the Dragon Ball Z games were worth money, or one of them was worth money on the PlayStation 2, but I couldn't remember which one it was. Actually, the footage that I showed you at Half Price Books, I didn't even show you all the Dragon Ball games. It looks like some Dragon Ball maniac sold all his Dragon Ball games. There's so many there. And uh, I started doing research on them, and like literally every one that I looked at was five ten dollars worth nothing overpriced or priced retail at the price and then finally i'm so glad like the last one i checked was this game believe it or not guys this dragon ball z budokai uh Tenk tenkashai uh no i'm saying that wrong three is tenkachi is that right three is worth on price charting 69.99 yeah pretty crazy right um, although that's not concrete, I'm sure it's worth between 50 and 60. So this is a game that I'm going to have a hard time deciding whether I'm going to flip or keep because you guys know how I am with PS2. I have a lot of pride in my PS2 collection, so I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with this one right now, but paying $20 is not what I usually pay for games. So instinctively, I need to flip it and I can make a lot of money off of it. Uh, that being said... Between this, 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 and this, that's probably about close to $100 in profit. That will pay for these games easily. And also, I picked up these two. These are $3.99 a piece. Dreamcast controllers without the VMUs, so that'll pay for that. Uh, of course, we have the speeding ticket I'm dealing with and the legal lane change without signaling. So who knows how much that's going to fucking cost. I'll find that out tomorrow. And then the last pickup here... Uh, I picked this up. I actually paid for this baby. Galactic Attack, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do, like I said before, but I will be showing you footage of this. Oh, fuck it. I'll just tell you. I'm going to show you footage of this game tomorrow. Um, warp into battle from the outer reaches of the solar system to the inner bowels. Oh, shit. Bowels. That's crazy. That's like a fucking toilet bowl. Of hostile enemy planets. Thousands of turbocharged alien warships attack from every direction. Your only hope, lock-on lasers, explosive tracking missiles, lightning, quick reflexes in a soft spot for the human race. I'm down. Galactic Attack on the Sega Saturn, guys. All right, so that's it. That's my pickups for this week. And uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, what the hell is that right there? Oh, shit. It's happening again, guys. Oh, man. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I got to get out of here, man. I'm heading half price books right now.